The experiments you will see have been carefully done by professionals and should not be tried at home without parental guidance. Please follow the caution signs throughout this program. Creation is science, where we learn about our Creator. And today, I think we're talking about some human energy because I see a bicycle over here. I'm Aunt Francine, and this is Professor Roy. Good to be with you. I'm glad you're here helping us out. Thank you so much. So we have Elon. Hi, Elon. Allie. Hi, Allie. Hey, Brianna. Hey, Brianna. And Wade. Wade, hi. hi. Are you excited today? Yes. yes. Okay, did anybody, did you bring electricity with you today? No. Yes. No. Did you bring? What'd you bring? Our body. Your bodies, that's right, because our bodies generate electricity, right? Yeah. But you know, we can use the muscles of our body to generate electricity outside of our body. That's going to be kind of fun to learn, isn't it? Yeah. I think so. Now, we had, uh, there's a man that lived a long time ago that told us that we could generate electricity. Before that, we had to make a battery and then we had to plug things into the battery. Well, today we have some generators and I want to show you one of those. Let's see what over here. I, hey, Brianna, there's a generator over there. Why don't you go ahead and get that for me and let's take a look at that, okay? There you go. Thank you. And it's kind of heavy, isn't it? Okay, thank you. Now, it has a little crank on it right here. What does that look like? Does this look old? Yeah. Yeah. You know why it looks old? No. Because it's old. It is. It's old. It's very old. In fact, it looks like an old pencil sharpener, but it's not a pencil sharpener. There's a little window right there, and there's wires in that window. And when I turn the crank, the wires spin around. See them spinning around? They're spinning around. Interesting. Now, and then we have two dark things on either side, and those are permanent magnets. That's interesting. So we need permanent magnets, and we need coils of wire if we're going to make a generator. Interesting, huh? <laughs> yeah. Well, there's a little generator right there. In fact, we could actually, uh, you know, some sometime that you know where that came out of? Came out of an old telephone. You know the old telephones. You ever seen old telephones? Yeah. If you wanted to use a telephone, you had to do what? Sorry. You had to generate let your own electricity and turn the crank to call somebody up. Now, that's interesting. Well, what we've done is this. We've taken and put a generator, okay, like this, and we put it on a bicycle like that one right there. Interesting, huh? Yeah. Well, let's take a look at this. We've got some parts of this little bicycle right here, and let's check this out. Now, here, this happens to be a generator right here. The wheel of the bicycle, it turns the generator. And what do we have? We've got things plugged into the generator. And I plugged in about, this is about 200 LED lights. And if you pedal it really, really fast, then you can light up the lights, the LED lights on our little bicycle. Interesting, huh? Yeah. yeah. But we also put something else on here. There's a big thing on the back right there. What does that look like? Uh, siren. A siren. That's exactly what it is. It's a siren, and the siren can spin because what happens? The shaft of the spiral, the siren, it rubs on the wheel, the top of the wheel. The bottom of the wheel is going to turn our generator and generate some electricity for us. Let's see. Wait. Hey, you want to try to ride our bicycle? Yeah. Okay. Here, we'll hop, hop. On. Oh, yeah. By the way, when you ride a bicycle, do you wear a helmet? Yes. Yes. You know, if you ride a bicycle and you don't wear a helmet, then you shouldn't be what? Riding it. Shouldn't be riding a bicycle. That's right. Now, Wade's not going to go very many places, is he? No, this is a stationary bike. The bike doesn't move, but the wheel is going to go around. And Now, make sure that you don't get your hands caught in the wheel, okay, because that's going to be a problem for us. There you go. Keep going. Are you slow? Keep going. That's amazing. Hey, thanks for riding that. Did you hear the siren? I did. You know, as long as he started, as long as he was pedaling fast enough, then the lights went on, didn't they? Mm -hmm. And the lights went and the siren went off too. That's interesting. Let's see. Uh, Abriana, did you want to try to ride it? 
Okay, all right, so why don't you, hey, what, can you help her with that helmet? We'll get our helmet back on over here. Interesting, isn't it? Now, that siren is interesting because uh, one day a lady heard this siren and she was over 90 years old and she heard that same sound where she lived because they had an air raid sirens in Poland. And when she was a little girl, the air raid silence for emergency would go on. And she said, that was exactly the same sound. And that's a very old siren. Okay, let's help her up. You got to go ahead. There you go. And if you pedal fast enough, I wonder if she can get the lights on. You want to try it? Okay, let me help you get this get over started. here. There you go. Pedal fast. All right, was that fun to ride that bike? Yeah. Yeah, it was fun to ride that bike. Did Who else wanted it? You want, okay, we got one more person that wants to try to ride our bicycle. All right. Now, wouldn't that be kind of fun? Would you like to have a siren on your bicycle? Yes. I think we might get in trouble if we had a siren on our bicycle. And it might sound like an emergency vehicle of some kind. Okay, we got one more rider right here. Let's see if she can get those lights to turn on as well. Okay, got your feet already on the pedals? Uh, here we go. All right, here we go. Grab a hold of the handlebars. Here we go. There we go. You got to pedal back. Boy, now that is a lot of noise. Hey, thank you. you did a good job. You did a good job riding that bicycle. That is pretty cool. Hey, well, come back to your tables. I got something else I want to show you. Now, this is interesting. So we have a little generator right here, right? And you know what? We've got, I've got a couple little generators right here. Now, this is interesting. And so what we're going to do is we've got a, what, what is that? Battery. battery. Well, it's actually a cell, okay? It's not a battery, but it's a cell. Everybody calls it a battery, but it's not. It's a cell. It's a D cell. And you can get these little kits right here. You can put the D cell in this little plastic container right here. And when you put that in there, then the electricity is going to go through these little copper wires right there. And that's what these are right here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one over here on your table right okay. here. Did you say and this turns into a motor. And so I'm going to put this right in here. Can you see how that works? Mm -hmm. Put one end in there, put the other end in there. Okay, and let's see, watch it. Why don't you set this one up over, over there, there for them? Okay. okay, that's okay. Now let it go. Let it go. Whoa, what's happening? It's, it's a generator. It's a generator. Isn't that interesting? It's actually a little tiny motor. Now that is pretty cool. So you can make these little tiny motors at home. So what do you need? You need a what? A cell, right? A cell. You need some wire. That's a very special kind of wire. This wire is called a magnet wire. And it's kind of, oh, look at that one. Oh, and it, and it just spun so fast that it just fell off. Isn't that interesting? Wow, I think that's amazing. But that is a motor. These are some of the world's simplest motors. By just using a cell, you can also use batteries. You know, don't touch it, just keep it going. We want to see it spin because it's kind of pretty to see that thing spin. Is it gonna stop? There you go. Cool. But we can also make a motor by using a battery. You know what the difference between a battery and a cell is? Have any idea? You know, a battery has more than one cell in it. Now that's pretty cool. And a lot of people don't know that. I think that's interesting. But we can generate electricity by taking this. Now, what we can do is we could change this around a little bit. Now, this is a motor right now. That's a motor right now. But you know what we could do? What? Hmm, let me see. We could do something different right here. We could actually turn this into a generator by moving some of these parts around. And that should be kind of interesting, you think? I think so. Right. <laughs> so we could take the cell out, okay? We could take the cell out, and then all we have is a what? A coil of wire and a magnet, right? Those, that's a little magnet right there. And what we could do is we could spin the coil of wire. And just spinning the coil of wire 
makes and turns everything into a generator rather than a motor. That's interesting. And I had one thing to show you right here. Oh, this is right over here on the shelf. Does anybody recognize this? What is that? Flashlight. flashlight. It's a flashlight. It's a very special kind of flashlight. And if I turn the flashlight like this and tilt it, something is going up and down. What's going up and down, do you think? So. It happens to be a magnet. It's a magnet. And the magnet goes through a coil of wire. Every time the magnet goes through a coil of wire, it produces an electric current. Isn't that cool? Yeah. And we call these shake lights. Have you ever seen a shake light? And no. if I shake the light like this and I point it at you, can you see the light? Mm -hmm. yeah. Can you see the light? Every time the magnet goes past the coil or through the coil of wire, and you can do that and you can blind yourself. Actually, shake it and see if you can see that, that light going. You can point it at yourself so you can see it. That's interesting. That's a shake light. But a long time ago, it was that person that I talked about, Michael Faraday. Michael Faraday told people that they didn't have to build batteries anymore. They said all you had to do is to build a generator, make a generator. All we need to do is to do what? We've got to have something that's going to what? We have to have coils of wire, okay, that are spinning, and we have to have what? Then we have to have magnets. And if coils of wire are moving within a magnetic field, or if the magnetic field is moving around some coils of wire, we're generating electricity. But do you and I have to worry about that with our body? No, our body generates electricity, doesn't it? It does. Well, we don't have moving parts like that, but we get our energy from the, from the what? What do we get our energy from? Sun. From the sun? <laughs> Earth gets its energy from the sun. Earth gets our energy from God, doesn't it, don't we? But we eat, we eat a good diet, we get plenty of exercise and rest. And so the chemicals that we have in our body or chemicals turn into electricity for us and we can do some work. Isn't that great? That is great. Will you help us get the Bible, Wade? Yeah. Let's look up James 2 verse 26. I'm thinking about this bike specifically. And is the bike doing anything right now? No. No. Let's read this first and you'll see why I'm asking that question and see if you can tell me why I'm asking that question. Again, James 2 verse 26. For as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead also. Did you catch that? For as the body without the spirit. Now what happens? Is, is the bike moving right now? No. 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 What do we need? Wait, you were on there first, right? Mm -hmm. What do we need to make that bike move? Um, a motor, like an energy source to make it. An energy source. Are you the energy source for that bicycle? Yeah. Okay, because we have the food, you're right. Now, who gives us, remember in the Bible, Jesus is talking about a helper that would also help provide energy or guidance. What was that energy or that helper? Do you remember what that was? The Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit, you're right. And the Holy Spirit, so it says we have faith in the Spirit, right? So for as the body without the Spirit is dead, so if we, we don't have the faith of Jesus, what happens? We can't work. We can't work, right. And then I'm thinking about when we have faith and work is dead also, you have to do chores sometimes at home? Yes. 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 Does your mommy or daddy have to ask you once, twice, three times the same thing before you actually do it? Sometimes. You get sidetracked? No. Sometimes. But does that faith, do you have that love for your mom that you remember, oh, that's important to my mom and I will do it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, sometimes if we have faith, if we have faith in God, that shows our love for God. Are you ready to live for Him? Thank you yes. for joining us on Creation is Science! Science.